back to our channel. For all our new subscribers, I'm Emma. And I'm Katie. And today we are going to do... The who's most likely to. Yeah, so this is just a fun game that we thought that we'd do so you guys can get to know us better and get to know our relationship and our friendship. Yes. We are sisters and love each other. Very much so. Oh my goodness, your hair looks so dark on camera compared to mine. I dyed my it's hair also blonde. wet. Yeah. It's still a little wet. So I dyed my hair blonde longer. in case. A little browny girl. Alrighty. She got her hair chopped. Alright, so we're just going to get right into it. So oh. for all the ones it's like most likely to, me and Katie will say who we think it's more likely. Okay. Me or Katie. So we're just going to like point to each other. Who's most likely to have the most piercings? Katie? I feel like I'd, I'm happy with the amount I have. I feel like I want more. Than, originally, I only ever wanted my firsts, and then Katie got her seconds, so then I got my helix, then I got my seconds, and then Katie got her helix. But then I was like, I got room for thirds, or maybe I just have, like, a lower helix. But I don't know. I feel like yeah, you have friends. You, like, I always, like, second-guess myself, but, but all these piercings I just did on the whim. But, like, I feel like, Katie, you have friends that you would just, like, do it on the whim with them. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas all, yeah. I feel like though, I don't know, I'm pretty content with mine. Yeah, see, yeah, I feel like I want more, so maybe. I, I feel like you could, I don't know, no. it's most likely to get married first. I, I mean, I hope. I think you. I feel like. Honestly. Yeah, I feel like I'm more open to commitment. <laughs> yeah, well, and also too, you've had, like. That being said, we're both single. Yeah. We, Katie had a boyfriend before I did. But oh, I've only yeah. dated one person before. That's true. And you've dated more. But I know. But also, I've, I've had I, a longer like, relationship. But also, we kind of hope I get married first because yeah. we think that's going to be more fun. Yeah, I want Emma to get married first. Yeah. Alrighty. Who's most likely to embarrass, them, embarrass themselves in front of their crush? I think me? Um, oh, I don't know. I, I don't know. Like I'm, I'm more clumsy and I word vomit. But also, you're probably... Like, I'm probably more comfortable around people I don't know very well. It depends, it depends who crushes. I don't have any crushes. No, I don't either. But yeah. I feel like I would just be more clumsy or say, like, the wrong thing. Yeah, or, in front or of you me. might be more anxious, right? <laughs> but I would still, like, act like be my extroverted self and blabber yeah. on. Yeah. But that's still embarrassing. Wait, who's most likely to be the first one to die in the zombie apocalypse? Me. <laughs> I would literally take one look at a zombie and be like, me now. <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't be that far ahead of you. Who is most likely to get yelled at by parents? Me. Mm. See, yeah, they love Katie. I think Katie's a little angel. No. Well, and I then know. like our mom. Okay, she'll say things to Katie. Oh, you look so beautiful. I love that dress on you. And she'll say to me, "Why are you standing like that?" Besides, <laughs> the other day she looked at my hair, and I literally thought she was gonna say it looked really greasy. But she didn't. See, for me, she would have said that. She was probably thinking that for you. But she didn't say it. True. Who is most likely to rat out a sibling? Oh, me. Emma. When 100%. our brother used to live with us, I blamed everything on him. And then when he moved out, I kept blaming things on him. They're like, He's he not does not live in here anymore. So then it would come back to me. And two, Emma has once rat me out for something I didn't do. Like, when? you once said, oh, like, Katie did this, but, or like, or... Mom and dad, who ate all the ice cream? You go, oh, Katie, and that was not true. Like, see, I did. can't lie either, so I don't know how <laughs> I got away with it for so many years because I suck at lying. Like, once I, even if I'm telling the truth or if I'm lying, I still have this guilty smile on my face. Either way, yeah. Who's most likely to date two people at one time? Me, you. <laughs> no explanation there. <laughs> Who's most likely to have kids first? Yeah, you, I'm more maternal, yeah. and I think I want more kids than you do. Yeah. Well, We're I sort of know. the same, but I, I'd be saying, open to having more kids. I feel like you'll end up having more kids than me. Yeah, or my kids will just, I'll just pump them all out really quick, and you'll yeah. be like, one, two years, the other. Yeah, because I still want kids in like a good amount, but I feel like... But also your job, your future, kids. like Katie wants to be a midwife, so she'll be around babies all the time. But that's also different than actually being a mother. Yeah. But you'd but be used then to then I would see you'd be used to babies and stuff. And but I told Katie the one day I have kids, she will she will be there when they're born. <laughs> she can be my second little midwife. Oh, we look so similar here. Um, <laughs> who is most likely to um, be a contestant on The Bachelor? Oh me. Yeah. <laughs> I say if I'm still single in like a few years time. 
That's what I'll do. Who's most likely to apologize after a fight? Me. Emma's always the first to. I always like I I'm the kind of person that I cannot get over it and move on unless I've unless amends have been made. But I sometimes need a bit of space first, and then I'll. But go I'm just like Matt. Let's and get apologize. This over with. Like I need space to like. Yeah. Like, gather my mm. self. All right. Who's uh, most likely to have more kids? You said you were probably. Everything's been me. So. <laughs> Who's most likely to take care of others when they are sick? Ooh, I think both like, of us. I would say you, but then now because I'm doing like nursing and stuff. Yeah. I feel like. I mean, I'm normally it would be me, more. but now you're better with that stuff. When you were younger, yeah. You probably, when I was younger, you were like, I was like, what do I do? No, get away from me. I'm like yeah. back up, but now I was like, Ooh. probably you now because now I'm like I can't get sick. Yeah. Who's most likely to? Never slash take longer to recover from heartbreak. Wait, what never slash take longer? I think I am. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I think I am. Like, we're, like, yeah. <laughs> Who's most likely to cry in a public place? I think I'm, you're, yeah. you're afraid to cry in public. That's true. I hate crying in public. I'll, I'll run somewhere where no one can see me. Anyway. Who's most likely to move to a different country? I think you are. I think so too. Yeah. Like, I just feel like I would just one day get bored and be like, all right, mm -hmm. <laughs> let's go. Who's most likely to lock themselves out of the house? I think we both are. Remember when I house sat? Yeah. That was well, horrible. I, I've locked myself out of this house before. Once I was house sitting and I got locked out and they only had one set of keys and I literally, because my mom's a real estate agent, I had to get her to contact their real estate like, because they, they, they rented their house to get a set of keys. Yeah. You and I, had to, I was locked out for, like, 12 hours. No, like, more than that. No, like, 12 hours. Less than 12 hours, but almost 12 hours. Like, it was, like, that night, and I didn't get the keys till the next afternoon, and I had to, like, call in sick to work, or, like, yeah. tell them I had to come in later, and I had to explain the whole situation. Actually, that's true. embarrassing. Well, they're but like, from, like, yeah. this house, or, like, any house we've lived in, like, as a kid, you would always get locked yeah. in. And you'd have to wait till me and Stephen would get home to, like, open the door. Or mom and dad would have to come home. And in this house, I locked, I thought I locked myself out because I didn't have any keys. But then, I luckily, I left the back door unlocked, mm. which we never do, though. Yeah. But it, I was lucky, and then I could get access to the back. And then the last one is, who's most likely to be a parent's favorite? Me. Me. <laughs> no, I'm the favorite. Mom favorite. tells you I'm her favorite yeah, child. She tells that to everyone. She's though. been telling me for the past like two no, years. No, but she tells she tells years. me that because I'm the middle child. I'm the responsible one. I'm their pride and joy. You're just the baby that cries when they don't get what they want. Yay! Alrighty, so that was just a quick little video. Hope you get to know us more and that was kind of kind of fun um comment below if you want more videos like this because we thought it'd just be a fun quick sit down yeah. chat because our recent sit down chats are just long and information dense we thought this yeah. was just fun and light or if you want us to do any other sort of challenge sort of videos or health or beauty comment below let us know we'll do yeah and we have so much exciting things coming up soon that we're gonna start filming for so stay tuned subscribe and then um click the bells ring the bell so you get to be the first to know when we upload a new video and don't forget to like this video Bye. And, we'll be with <laughs> and okay. thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye